So I'm going to explain how to do 15.1 working papers. I've done the work together for you already. Your assignment is to complete the on your own and the application 15.1. So everywhere where I have yellow boxes, that's information that you'll have to fill in on the on your own. You'll see that yours are empty. So um, I'm going to show you where I got this information. So all of the heading information comes from these instructions. So Southside Electric, um, and then we're doing an unadjusted trial balance, and our date is December 31st, uh, 2000, dash, dash. And then where I got these account names, how I know which ones to put in the boxes, is I just go over here and scroll through the general ledgers and match up each of them. So cash, cash. Petty cash, petty cash. Accounts receivable, accounts receivable. Allowance for uncollectible accounts, that was the one missing. So I fill in that account name. And then it has a $48.67 credit. So I record that number in the credit column. So you'll do all of that with all of these. Um, if there's not a yellow box, then you don't have to fill in information. So like you'll notice that for supplies, um, office, store, and uncollectibles, there's no numbers. So we'll just leave them blank for now. We'll end up filling them in in lessons 15.2 and 15.3. So right now, don't worry about it. After you filled in all of the accounts and numbers, then you'll come down here and total each column up, making sure that they equal, uh, the debits equal the credit amount. Then we have to record the adjusted entries. So we recorded certain balances for our um, supplies office amount. So at the beginning of the month, we recorded that we had um, over $3,108. Um, but they are actually showing that we now only have $640 for the store supplies. So we have to adjust off the amount that we actually um, used over the course of the month. So um, that's what these transactions are down here. So we'll start out with the supplies, the office supplies. So how I got this number was taking, um, so I'll go find office supplies. So I take $3,108.08 minus the end of the month balance of 548, and that gives me this $2,560.08. Same thing with supplies expense store. So to get that number, I scroll up here. Supplies store, 4,483 minus the current value of 640. It means that we used $3,843 in store supplies. And then um, insurance expense, how I got the 9,600. So I find insurance expense on here where is it uh, sorry it's prepaid expense prepaid insurance yeah um, 11,200 minus the current value of 1600 means we use nine thousand six hundred dollars in prepaid insurance so that's why you are um, you're crediting all of these accounts showing that you used that amount of each of these supplies over the course of December. And um, then that's it. So you'll go and you'll do the on your own, again, filling in your unadjusted trial balance numbers, calculating the totals, and then recording the adjusted amounts uh, to account for how much office supplies, store supplies, and prepaid insurance you used over the course of December. Um, same thing for the application problem. If you have any questions, uh, email me.